Hello there. You're going to learn how to add a YouTube video onto your WordPress website. You can embed a YouTube video to your business WordPress website or your e-commerce site. Just like this, I'm going to show you how to make it start and end at a specific point in time if you want that to happen. I'm going to show you how to do it on any page on WordPress, just like that. Or using Elementor, if you've used one of our videos in the past, it's going to be super simple and it's going to add a dynamic vibe to your website after you've added some videos. So let's not waste any time. Here are the quick steps. We're going to get the video link. I'm then going to show you how to add the YouTube video onto any WordPress page and then adding a YouTube video onto or with any specific start and end time that you would like and then adding the video onto any part of your site using Elementor and using the features available to start, stop and autoplay. So let's get cracking. Let's start adding and embedding our YouTube video into WordPress. So step one, the first thing you need to do is navigate to the YouTube video that you want to add to your WordPress website. So let's say for example, it's this one here. The best way to do this, the easiest way to get the video link is not to use what's in the address bar, but rather right click and copy video URL. Once you've copied the URL of the video, you can then go into your WordPress dashboard, navigate to the page where you want to embed your video. So let's say I want to add it to a particular post. And let's say I want to add it onto this post here. All you need to do is then paste that link. Wait for a second and WordPress will automatically render and add that YouTube video to your WordPress website. Now hit update. By the way, if you're not seeing this content editor over here and you're seeing WordPress as a new block editor, just check my other video on how to get the old WordPress editor back. It's called the classic editor and all you need to do is go to plugins, install the classic editor plugin and then you'll be back to the good old days which is this editor interface over here. So once you've done that, you can then of course update, check the URL and you should see the YouTube video added onto your website. Now this works for all WordPress websites, business websites, blogs, e-commerce stores as well. It works for all types of WordPress sites. And there it is. Perfect. Now you can edit the post to add some space in between the video and other text, for example. That's completely up to you. There we go. Now I want to show you how you can add a YouTube video to your WordPress website that has a specific start and end time. To do that, go back to YouTube, go to share, and then click on embed. Now what you want to do here is play the video to the point where you want the video to start when you finally embed it. So let's say it's at this point here. 35.14. If you check this box here and then enter that time, so start at 35.14, just click out of that box. And what's gonna happen is this embed code is going to update and there we are here, a start equals 2114. So that's the time here in seconds. So now all we need to do is copy. So let's click on copy. Perfect. Let's go back to our page. Now instead of pasting that directly in here, you probably know that there are two tabs in WordPress, a visual tab and a text tab. The visual is for adding anything that's like text related, like Microsoft Word. 
But in this instance, we need to go to the text tab because we want to enter some code. And where we want to enter this, we can we can just see that. And let's say we want to enter it just above the paragraphs here and below the previous YouTube video. So I'm going to now right click and paste that code that we copied from here. It's now pasted and I'm going to click update. Perfect, let's refresh the website. Now this is the original one. This is the embedded code. Now when we click play, check that out, it starts exactly at that point. Now the size of this can be adjusted quite easily. So in this case, width and height. What you can do is just Google YouTube video dimensions. Or YouTube video dimension calculator. And you should be able to find a calculator that allows you to tell, which basically tells you what size you can adjust the video to. So here we've got a width of 560 pixels, height of 315 pixels. So now if we say we want the width to be 800, it automatically calculates that the height will be 450. So all I need you to do then is go back onto your post. Let's enter the width of 800 and the height of 450 and click update. Make sure not to remove any of these quotation marks. That's done, let's refresh. There we go. You can see that's increased and with a bit of trial and error you'll be able to edit or customize the, um, the width and the height of the embedded YouTube video just using a simple uh, ratio calculator. Now I've shown you how to customize the specific start time of your YouTube video but what if you want to add a YouTube video to WordPress where you customize the end time as well. You want the video to stop playing at a specific point in time. Now similarly go to the video, go to share, go to embed, just navigate to the point in time where you want the video to stop playing. Now let's say hypothetically it's this point here, 50, 57. Now I just need to get that time in seconds. So start at, all I'm doing here is entering that in because I want to know the number in seconds, 3057. Okay, let's remember that. And in the code here, just before the quotation mark, type in and end equals the number of seconds here, 3057, and it will stop up the, um, at the 5057 mark in this instance. So 3057, so and end equals the number of seconds. And what this will do is specify the start time and end time for that particular video. So let's update. Let's refresh the page. And I'm going to test just to make sure this works perfectly. There we go, it started on time. And now 50.57 is where it was supposed to stop. Let's just count this down. There we go. Absolutely perfect. So that's how you make embedded YouTube video start and stop at a specific point in time using WordPress on any WordPress page. Now I nearly forgot to mention but with any video that you embed with YouTube you can actually select whether to show the controls or not. So if the controls are enabled you'll see we have the option here to pause fast forward etc but if that's disabled 
you'll see that the user, when they start playing, they don't have the luxury to do that. Now, the next thing I want to show you how to do is how to add a YouTube video with Elementor. If you've created a WordPress website, um, a business website, or an e-commerce store watching my other videos, you'll be familiar with something called Elementor, which is the page builder. Now, it's much easier to use, and it allows you to customize and manage a few other options. And therefore, I'm going to show you how to embed the YouTube video onto one of these pages. So firstly, go to your website and go to the page on which you want to embed the YouTube video. Then click on Edit with Elementor. Now let's scroll down and try and find the video element. You should see it over here on the left hand side. Find the area where you want to drop that in onto your page. So let's just say for example, it's over here somewhere. So I'm going to drag and drop that element here. Now when I click on that element, or click the pencil icon over here, or I can right click, um, basically I'll get these options over here. Now, I just need to copy and paste the YouTube URL. So let's right click copy video URL and paste that in this box here. There we go. Then just like we did with the previous steps, but less manually, we can add a start time, but we need to specify that start time in seconds. So let's say we wanted to start at the um, 85 second mark. And let's say we want it to end at the um, 165 second mark. You can choose to autoplay the video, mute the video by default, um, and a bunch of other things. But for now, let me just update that. And then I'm going to view the changes. When I play, it should start from, there it is, the 85 second mark. And then it will just stop ending at the end time that I specified. Now, of course, it didn't autoplay. So we can just we can just adjust that. We can make it autoplay, for example. Now then you've got the option to play on mobile. You've got the option to loop. So for example, if this was a really short video, it could loop over and over again. And then if we click this here, it'll remove a lot of the um, the YouTube branding when you add or embed that to your web page. You can also change the suggested videos to any video. Um, and you've got a whole range of um, options over here. So as you can see, that's quite powerful and it's quite easy to use. You can also change some of the styling and padding and this and that. But if I just update that and then refresh the page, you should see the main difference, which is it autoplay it should autoplay, sorry. So let me just refresh. I'm not clicking anything here. And there we are, the video has started autoplaying from that specific point in time. So, I know in this instance the video is taking up a lot of real estate on the page, but we can definitely manage that. So, if I go back to... Okay, here we are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually remove this and um, let's say we want to add it to another module where it doesn't take so much space, like over here. Perfect. We need to just copy the URL. Have the start and end time. Select whether we want to autoplay, update, and there we are. It is as simple as that to add a YouTube video to your WordPress website, to add specific start and stop points, 
if you have any questions, ask in the comments below, but I hope that's given everything you need. I'll see you in the next video.